In this demonstration, I will be talking about automatic retries with batch jobs. First, I will describe the problem statement. Second, walkthrough of documentation. Third point will be showing how to implement it. Fourth will be demonstration of the code which is implemented in point three. Finally, I will be showing uh, some of a form where you can control this setting after the fact it is implemented in the code for, for the scenarios where after deployment um, customer realize that it should not be a retriable batch. For example, a scenario where it is dealing, the batch is dealing with a credit card and you realize after the deployment that it should not be a retriable batch or uh, cases where you want to make a batch retriable, which can be, this setting can be controlled through uh, configuration, but not all of the batches are available. There is one property if you uh, which you have to implement in the code for making the batch available in in that form which i will talk about when i am writing the code and implementing the batch retriable uh, interface so let's about uh, let's talk about the problem statement why we need automatic retries with batch jobs um there are times when there is a minor blip in the system for a for a few seconds to even a half second uh, where connection drops with the SQL or there is any transient uh, disconnection between the AOS and SQL for whatsoever reason. During those cases, even if that blip is for half second or even 10, uh, 10 seconds, um, the transaction is aborted that results in batch uh, errors and someone has to go and you know put the status again to waiting which is uh, which is a major pain point so and to handle those cases system should be resilient enough to detect that blip and retry uh, automatic retry with batch uh, gives an easier way for customer to implement it by implementing batch retriable interface and just marking it as true by just changing two or three properties on the batch it it enables the the batch to automatically retry itself uh, on errors so that is the problem statement that's why this framework was implemented and introduced in uh, dot 18 and 19. Um, so I will talk about uh, the documentation and the next steps and how to implement it. So you can see the documentation is available on the doc site by going into batch processing and looking up enabling automatic retries on batch jobs it describes the metadata retry uh, retries talk about the the interface sys which are uh, which needs to be implemented then the frequently asked questions how to implement the code for run based batch and the sys operation framework two frameworks for uh, batch processing and then it discuss you know all the frequently asked questions you can go to this site pretty uh, handy and discuss all the scenarios quite in detail and as I talked this framework was introduced in 18 and 19 with 90 percent of Microsoft jobs uh, having implemented this framework and I can show you in the code how you can find whether that class is implemented with the batch retriable or not so the as next step we will jump into the code so yep at this point we are on point two of our presentation for uh, demonstration purposes I have already implemented 
a run based batch class which implements batch retriable and what it does is to make this um, interface implemented you have to just implement is retriable and return true or false depending if you want this uh, class to be retriable or not if you want this class to be retriable um, you can mark it as true otherwise for scenarios where you don't want it to be retriable as discussed earlier like you know if your if your processing is dealing with credit card or making any external application uh, calls um, and in those cases retry does not make sense then you can mark it as false and when the those uh, edge cases transient error happens then you you know you may have to deal those manually by bringing both systems in sync but most of the cases are handled through retry basically if your process is item potent meaning it can be retry it it, it is retriable so just to uh, in the processing method which is run here i am calling the retrieving all the customers and after retrieving the customer I'm making the while to sleep for two seconds it will give me enough time to restart the SQL server to cause a transient error <coughs> finally this method can go uh, can go bad journal if I don't implement this method, my class will not be available in the lookup uh, for um, on the batch uh, batch form because only the classes which implement can go batch journal are are available in the lookup and also for the last point five where I said you know you can configure the settings. The classes are available only after you either implement this uh, this property in case of sys operation framework um, there's another uh, another method which you uh, which you have to decorate mean uh, with uh, the sys operation class to make it available in the in the batch framework so you don't even have to schedule a class you can just go and look up look up that class and create the batch I will show that in detail I once I have walked through the code so to see how other classes are which other classes have implemented as I mentioned earlier 90% of out of the box has has implemented batch retrieval. you can you can find that by looking the references and as you can see that um, around 200 plus 2000 plus class plus classes in the base code has implemented this method meaning they are retriable in case of an uh, transient error so you can look at even those classes for seeing how uh, to take it as an example and see how to implement this framework all right now I will be <clears throat> creating a new batch job to schedule that class. So as you can see that all, not all classes are available here. We saw that you know when the classes which were implementing the batch retrieval were around 2000 plus but here I'm not seeing uh, all the classes. If you schedule a batch like this your class should implement can go batch journal method which I have talked earlier in the code. So I had to implement that method to make sure my class is available here. So if you don't 
in uh, implement that it won't be available here but that does not mean you cannot create a batch but it has to you know come through a menu item and um, through a standard method this is a shortcut and only few classes are available um, and designed to work like that way so now I have a scheduled this class and I will change the status to waiting so that it um, it can be run so here I have um, enabled the profiler in the SQL to see when the cast um, table hits. As soon as it will hit, I will stop the SQL server to cause that transient or simulate that transient error by disconnecting the SQL and then see how, how the system reacts. So I can see that now the query is running. I will try and restart the SQL now. See if I capture it or not. So I have restarted the SQL and we will see in the logs um, based on the code that if the system is retrying, how many times it has retry. And again, I can see that uh, system is trying to read the uh, read the cast table let's give it another restart just to see if we can you know cause multiple retries and see in the info log as implemented So you can see that system is retrying. So once it is completed, I will show how does it look like in the info log. So bad job is almost um, is ended now. You can see that and you can see that it is showing an info log with error. But if I look at the details here, you can see that it started reading um, reading the customer account at this time and at this point I restarted the uh, SQL which caused a, which caused a transient error and <clears throat> it just um, you know after a minute it, it again re started retrying and again I restarted the SQL so it after it waited for a minute and then restarted again and then again I restarted the SQL so you can see that you know four time it it almost waited for some time and then restarted it um, almost 30 seconds or so so it incrementally increased those retry seconds uh, uh, to handle you know like how like the first retry is quick after that it waits a little bit more and then more um, and finally uh, you can see that on fourth try I did not restart it the SQL and it read all the um, all the accounts and it ended so this is how actually in real world retry would would uh, work and you can see that here the retry occurrence is also three finally we will uh, try to override the settings through configuration so in system administration, you can go to batch class configuration overwrite. And here I click new and it will list all the classes which have implemented uh, can go batch journal. So as I mentioned earlier, not all classes are available here. There are certain property in the code you have to implement. So which I have in my code and I will show you which which is that property for run based batch for sys operation it is a little bit different but the concept is actually the same so as you select this class you can see that my class is retriable now after deployment I decided that it should not be retriable so I can mark this as no and save it 
finally the method which i was talking to you guys up earlier can go bad journal only if it is true then it shows up in that lookup otherwise it does not show up in that lookup so so you can you know implement that functionality by enabling this or um, or typing um, with this operation framework it is a different attribute which needs to be enabled so last point i wanted to make here is as i mentioned that you know not all classes are available in the lookup but that does not mean it is not like there you can you just have to paste the class name to make it available let me copy this and and show you so let's delete this guy so now i will paste it and then you can see that it is marked as retriable i don't want to make it and i uh, retriable and i can save it here the the point I'm trying to make here is that don't be confused that it is not available in the lookup um, so you can't change it it's just that you have to if those that method is not implemented then you have to type the class name thank you for the time I hope you enjoy the presentation